Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tulu Fafora from World of a Parent. May I remind you that World of a Parent is an entity that is faith-based. So when you see us quote the scripture or be in the scripture, that's where we're coming from. Now, when I was thinking about today and, you know, coming on to speak, two things came to mind, and that's the mind and battle. Two words that don't even have anything in common, right? But no, they actually do. The one thing that we have to know is that the mind is a powerful thing that humans have. But that same mind is a battleground. That mind is one place that does not like to be kept empty, no matter how you try. You even thinking, I don't want to think about anything, is a thought on its own. Having said that, we also know the times we're in, which is really why I'm here to encourage all of us. We know the things going on out there, and the natural progression of things is for the mind to start thinking of the what could the should the would given the situation at hand. But why don't we navigate the mind some other way? Yes, the cares and the situations tend to impose on our minds. But this, I believe, is also the time that you can regroup and regroup. What do I mean by regrowing your mind? Do you remember any project that you kind of started or thought about that you never did? Maybe you can fill your time with that. Maybe you can pick up skills. Do you know you can get a like a three month trial on LinkedIn and pick up a skill, I mean your skill. You can learn something new. You can learn something as simple as Excel. Oh, so it's quite complex. Um, you can also pick up other things, photography, you know, fun things, playing the keyboard or guitar. We don't know how long we're going to be home for, but you know what? You can get something positive started. I know, before you tell me, well, I read my Bible and I, I do my prayers, we're supposed to do that, but have you realized that we have a whole day also? And this is just a way to not just while away the time, but come out on the other side better. For me, reading. I used to read a lot. And then between career, having children, work and this, I kind of lost it. I tried to pick it back up with audio, um, audio books. But I learned recently how powerful it is to actually read a book. Maybe that's a challenge you want to pick up. Maybe you and I can do the same and say we're going to read a couple of pages a day. But at this time, do not allow a battle that you don't want to be brought to your mind. You occupy your mind with the right type of activities. There's, there's so much that you can do that are positive right now. So I want to encourage us all, pick up something. It could even be learning a new dish. Make it fun with the kids. That book that I spoke about, you can make it a challenge. And whoever reads the maybe highest number of books or the highest number of pages in the house gets something at the end of the week. Well, hopefully you can do something and maybe take it a step further than what I've spoken today. But till we speak again, as I always say, this too shall pass and be blessed.